Hello guys, do you want to learn how to design an awesome website like this? Just stay in this video and I'm going to teach you how. Start by opening Dimension CC and we're going to create a new document. Okay, now that we have Dimension CC open, the first thing we're going to do is go to these three dots that you see right here at the corner next to the create new document. You're going to click it and you're going to change the name of the document to hero image and you're going to leave the size to 1920 by 1080 pixels and we're going to click create. It's going to give us a plain document like this and that's totally fine. The main thing I want to do, right, let's start with a cube. I'm going to create a cube and I'm going to try to take this, the C scale, which is this, you can move it this way, but the proper way to do it is just like, let's move the C scale to maybe three, uh, to change it to three right here. And uh, the I want to make it uh, 30 in the white scale. Let's make it 40 and let's change it from three to two. I think it looks better with two. That's, that's fine. And now that I have this square shape, the next thing I'm going to do is take in this same square shape and I'm going to press command C, command V, and I'm going to resize it. I'm going to resize it like this. Let me show you right now. I'm bring it forward. I'm going to keep it resizing till I have something like kind of like that. And then let me put it a little bit narrower that way. And then I'm going to try to place it like on top of it. If you take it from this little circle that it has right here, it'll move better the elements. Okay. And then we're going to bring it a little bit back, something like that. I think it looks really cool. Now we're going to take again the element and going to press command C, command V, and we're going to take the element and bring it forward. Let's uh, let's break it smaller but pressing shift so it makes it evenly smaller and something like that it looks really fine i'm gonna, I'm gonna try to move it up and a little bit to the front so what i'm trying to get here is um, i'm pressing just right click right now so you can see the rotation and i'm trying to just to place it a little bit off center of the element let me show you better something like that looks really cool i think that's totally fine and the next thing will be like taking this and command c command v again and bring it forward a little bit lower and a little bit to the right something like to the to the left sorry something like that and i'm gonna take some cylinders and i'm just gonna change the rotation of this the x rotation to 90. you can do it by pressing the red arrow that it has right here in the control tool it has this red arrow you just take the you can rotate the x axis but if you press shift it will do it in complete numbers let's continue i'm gonna press uh sorry i'm gonna press uh now i'm gonna press shift i'm gonna take this little dot that it has right here i'm gonna press shift and i'm gonna down scale like i'm mean, gonna make it smaller like that and take it the circle i'm gonna try to place it like oh sorry like right here at the corner but let me move the camera a little bit so i realized that i want to make it a little bit smaller something like that and then i'm gonna bring a little bit something like further away so i can see it better okay that looks that looks that looks decent okay now i'm gonna take this cylinder that i have right here i'm gonna press command c command v and then i'm gonna move it to the side something like that and I'm going to take this same cylinder, which is right here. I'm going to press command C, command V. And I'm going to move it to the side like exactly like that. And I'm going to take these three cylinders that I have right here, pressing uh, command or control so I can create a selection. And I'm going to go with the align tool. And I'm going to take these elements and I'm going to try to align them, space them evenly. Let me show you how. So I'm pressing, I'm pressing a space shift so I can move it with the, with the orbit tool. And I'm going to take these elements that I have already selected, the cylinder four, three, and two, and I'm going to click to evenly space them, to evenly space them. And then I'm going to try to take them exactly like one centimeter apart. That's perfect. And now I have what I was looking for. Let's go back to the camera frame selection and now i have this type of window i guess let me try to bring it all the way forward okay now we have this type of window design that we're gonna use in the website i want to try to take these elements and i'm gonna change a little bit of them that we're gonna use in the website let's add some color and some materials to them so they look kind of better for the website i'm gonna go in the material section in dimension and uh, first i want to add the let's go with the plastic material uh, is raised is this one right here and then i'm gonna try to apply it to all the elements without linking them of course i'm just gonna try to drag it you just drag it on top of all the elements and then the main one okay and next step will be to recolor all the elements so for example this bar i think it should go in a different color let's go with a kind of a white color let's change it to f1 uh, f1 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 click ok then this circle i want to make it like a green color let's go with a color like 00f728 and let's click ok all right gonna have like a green one here and then let me go with a selection tool again and i'm gonna take this uh cylinder too and i'm gonna change it to a yellowish color which will be like a something like this. Okay, it will be F0C016. 
We're gonna click okay. And then we're gonna go with the other one and then we're gonna change it to a uh, kind of a red. The cylinder two, we're gonna gotta click it and we're gonna select the colors and we're gonna go to this, something like a dark red like that. And the back, the back part, I'm gonna try to make it in a really popping color, something like uh, something that pops, but it's kind of like a gray tone, like a mute white, but a little bit darker. I think something like that will look really nice. And these two windows, I think I have a great plan for them. I'm gonna make one of them orange with the code FF7F00. I click enter. This one's gonna be orange, and this one's gonna be like a bluish color. You know what? I changed my mind. Let's let's change the past this one at the back to a bluish color to see how it looks. I'm gonna change this one to a blue color, but something kind of like 170795FF. And let's take this final window that I have right here and let's change the color to, uh, to a lighter blue. Let's change the color to a lighter blue. I have a better idea. Let's take this orange that I have right here. Let's take this one and let's make it orange too. I'm going to take the color. I'm going to change it to one orange like this. And I'm going to take this back one and I'm going to change it to a blue. But I'm going to be, um, it's going to make, a, it's going to be like a lighter blue. Something like 07D2EE. -E. Okay, let me. Let me delete this part and click enter. And this is kind of what we're going to do right now. And I'm going to try to take a look at this. But first, I need to add the light. Okay, now we're going to add the lights in the actual scene to add it to the website. I think the best option to go is in the lights panel. You're going to click this little sun that is right here. And you're going to click the studio softbox. And that's going to create like the light that we're going to use in our scene in our website for the actual hero of the website. And another thing that I want to do too is go to camera frame all so I can have a complete selection of what I have. And let me move a little bit the camera a little bit. Let's orbit a little bit the camera. So let's go a little bit further to the bottom and more to the side. OK, I think it looks nice but we can do it better. Let's go. Let's click this one. Bring it a little bit further. This one a little bit further. This one a little bit further. And let's take one of these circle shapes that I have right here. And let's command C, command V. Let's bring it forward, bring it down a little bit forward, like something like that. Let's make it uh, bigger, taking it here, something like that. And then, you know, I think it's be better if we make it less deep, something like that. Bring it forward and let's make it kind of bigger. At this point, something like, yeah, but not so deep. Oh, sorry, but not so deep. And we're gonna take everyone again, everything again, and then we're gonna go to frame all. Okay, this is gonna be more to the side. This one is gonna be more to the side too. And this one too needs to be something like that. So it doesn't look as bad in this camera frame all. I think it looks okay. Um, the point of this is just teach you how to use the actual tool. And this, I'm gonna take to bring it a little bit to something like that this one a little bit to the something like this this one a bit down and this i'm going to change the color to something like a light color because i'm not convinced with that green let's go with this kind of a bluish color i think it looks fine like that uh i think i'm gonna camera frame all let me move a little bit the, the camera something like that and i'm gonna go with the preview render preview which is right here at the corner i think it looks okay and it will be it will work for what we're going to use it for. So let's just go to the render part. OK, here in the render options, I'm going to click in the desktop, which is going to be the output of the actual file. I'm going to click open and then I'm you already name it as hero image and I'm going to try to render it right now. OK, now that we have the render finish, we're going to open uh, I'm going to minimize this dimension CC window and then we're going to open uh, Adobe XD. Okay, here in Adobe XD, we're gonna do really something really simple. We're gonna create a new document, and it's gonna be 1440 by 1024, and it's gonna create this type of uh, document, and we're gonna name it Coding Website. And I already have some assets for you guys that you can use, but let's start with the layout. Uh, one of the layouts that I just tried to go when I go with this type of website size with of 1440 by 1024 is the following. The garden needs to be 30 pixels and the, and the column width is going to be 65. And then I'm going to click the columns and I'm going to uh, change the opacity to zero. So it creates lines instead of color that it has. So I have these type of things and I change it to a dark blue so you can see it better in the video. The One of the things that I want to add to this website first is, you know, I create these assets for you, which is going to be like a simple logo that I did, you know, demonstration purposes. We're going to copy it and we're going to paste it in Adobe XD. We're going to put it like right here at the corner. I'm going to make it like two columns with something like that. We're going to place it right here. I'm going to take it all together and we're going to place it right here. It'll look fine right there. And uh, the next thing is going to be to add the background color of the 
website and it's gonna be let's go to layout let's gonna go to fill color and we're gonna change it to um 171630 you're gonna have this dark blue color for the website and it looks really nice um now we're gonna make the nav bar right now and we're gonna add the text which will be products let's start with let's start okay let's start making a component and we're gonna put it aside the component's gonna be named menu and for this menu i'm gonna put it aside so you can see it better i think right here will be fine okay let's go with the font and it's gonna be let's pick roboto so roboto and this is gonna be our main component i'm gonna start i'm gonna start with the font in normal in uh, in normal color which is gonna be like this and we're gonna make it a component and we're gonna add two states to the component which is gonna be the default state which is gonna be in white and then it's gonna be a hover state we're gonna create a new hover state and it's gonna be the same thing however i'm gonna add the i'm gonna put the font in black so this is the component that we're gonna use for the menu okay let me show you how this works after i create these components i'm gonna go back to the default state and i'm gonna press command enter and you're gonna see that i'm in the adobe xd so when i hover on top of the menu it's gonna do this type of things you know it's gonna make it bold that's the main purpose of using it this way as a component. I'm going to leave it to the side and I'm going to just uh, copy, uh, press Alt and I'm going to copy it many times. I'm going to do it like, let me think. I'm going to do it five times. I'm going to take the menu component. I'm going to copy it five times. Two, three, four, five times. And I'm going to create a button component too. Let me create a component for a button. So it's going to be sign in okay let me let's create a button with the name btn and i'm gonna take all these elements and i'm gonna change the size to 16 pixels and i'm gonna create a square behind it like this and we're gonna change this square color to a green color something that goes uh, with 00 f785 and we're gonna press enter and we're gonna remove the border and we're gonna take both of them i'm gonna send it to the back command shift and i'm gonna send it to the back and after that i'm gonna take both of the elements and i'm gonna group them okay and after that i'm gonna take both of the elements and I'm going to group them and I'm going to click this option called padding and I'm going to change it to the following. At the top will be 18, at the side will be 32, at the bottom will be 18 again and in the other side will be 32. So we have this button style design. Okay. And uh, let me take both of these elements. I'm going to align them just in case. This final button design, I'm going to take both this, this square. I'm going to round the corners a little bit, something like that. It will look really fine. And I'm going to create it uh, as a component. I'm going to click it inside in the component area. I'm going to add a default state and a hover state. So in the hover state, what I want to do is change the color of the button. So it creates an action and I'm going to in the hover state, I'm going to double click it, double click it again. I'm going to take the green area and I'm going to change it to a darker green, like a little bit something like that. And I'm going to click out of it. I'm going to go back to the default state. So I'm going to copy this BTN class. I'm going to put it right here, like the button design. And I'm going to put this, I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to change uh, the names of all of this. So the first one will be products. The second one will be downloads. The third one would be resources. This one will be training and this one will be support. Don't worry about that. Okay. Okay. I'm doing it this way to show you something. I'm going to press uh, here to show you. I'm going to press command enter to go into the preview mode. And you're going to see something that every time I hover on, on top of it, it has the menu name. So I have to change both of the states. So that's a, a, a good thing to keep in mind. When you work with components, you got to change both of the states. If you have different states of the same component before all of that i'm gonna take uh these elements and i'm gonna try to space them around but i'm gonna show you a really cool thing that you can do to space them way better than this so just stay with me okay i'm gonna click the product i'm gonna click the product i'm gonna go with the hover state and i'm gonna change them instead of menu i'm gonna put product okay and i'm gonna go back to the normal state and then in downloads I'm gonna press command C. I'm gonna go back to the hover state and in menu. I'm gonna press command V. Click away, click again, and then default state. And we're gonna repeat the same pattern. We're gonna take all of that command C. I'm gonna click away. I'm gonna go with the hover state, double click it, command V, then again. Click away, default state, training, command C, and take the training, hover state, double click it, command V, and I'm gonna take the default state, and then I'm gonna go to the support, double click it, and uh, command C, go back to the support, hover state, double click it, command V, and I'm gonna go back to the default state. Okay, one of the cool things about working with components this way is this great, great thing. So if I edit this master component, this change will affect all of the colors. Let me show you something. If I start moving the main component, it's going to affect the components that we already create. So that's why I do it with master components, because you change one of the main components and it will do the changes in all the design. Let's continue. I'm going to take this 
button and we're gonna change uh, the name to sign in. I'm gonna change it to sign in. I'm gonna take now all these elements and I'm gonna I'm gonna group them and I'm gonna click this stack option and I'm gonna specify that the space that I want between them is gonna be 20 pixels and it's gonna keep all the elements within 20 pixels of space in between them and I'm gonna put try to align them to the something like that. Let's align it like this. Something like that okay now that we have our menu bar at the top okay now that we have our menu at the top let's click command return just to see how it works and we have our great menu bar here at the top product downloads resource training and support we need to add something like a tagline and that's really easy we're gonna write something in the robota font we're gonna take here i'm gonna try to type something that says like we love design and uh, build websites this is a programming uh, website so let's take it something like and it'll look fine like that and uh, let's add something like a tagline but first i'm going to try to change the spacing from 93 to something like 85 now take this sam here i take it i'm going to change it to we love to visualize and make come to life in a website oh and make it and make it come to life in a website and i'm gonna change this from bold to light and instead of 71 let's do it with 30 and let's change this space into maybe 35 and let's take this vtn component that we create and let's double click it i'm gonna change this to explore and okay here we have the great vtn design let's click command um return to see how it works oh, i think it looks really fine but i need to change again the second states of the buttons so let's go back to that i double click it click the sign in option command c click back again double click it go to the hover state double click it and then command v we have one done uh let me go again so i see that there is a re return to the original option that's it this one hover state double click it command v and here we have it let's see again back to the original option i said with explore option we double click it command c then uh, we're gonna go with the hover option hover state we're gonna click it command v and then we go back to the default state and let's take a look at that i think it looks really nice but let's make it pop a little bit more um i think a good way to make it pop a little bit more it will be adding the design that we already created in dimension cc and it's in the desktop because that's where i save it and we're gonna click the hero image that we create in photoshop and it's gonna open this file that we have right here and uh the main thing that I want to try with this file is to mask it a little bit because it's going to have the edges in that's something that Dimension CC does. Let me let me try to use that. I'm going to click the mask option and I'm going to get the brush tool and I'm going to try to, you know, dab a little bit into the edges so it doesn't bring the edges to Dimension to the actual XD file. And then let's try to save it as a PNG hero image as a PNG save and click okay okay when you save the actual file when i'm gonna go back to the desktop go to the images that i have right here i'm gonna take the png i'm gonna drag it on top adobe xd and i'm gonna try to place it in a way that it looks really really nice doesn't matter if you take some off of the image it's just the, the point is just to use as much as possible and make it the website look really 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 nice that's it. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing it so. If you have any questions, please put it in the comments below. And I'll try to help you to clarify all your questions about these programs. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.